so the food has come and just look at the spectrum of meats here so we've got these beautiful beautiful uh, lamb chops Oh yeah. Now this is something I can definitely get behind. Again, I've always said, right, when you get your your meat right, and then you put the chips in the bottom, the chips at the bottom kind of absorb all that flavor, and most definitely this is the case with um, the whole masala fries, the beef on top. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new food review. Today, we are here at Jungle Paprika. I reached out to a lot of you guys on my Instagram page. I don't think I've had many kind of food that has been influenced by the kind of African taste. So I'm really excited to add this to kind of my food portfolio. So I'll catch you guys in the restaurant. So, a quick menu breakdown of jungle paprika, the wild taste of Africa as they say. So it's grilled, it's fresh and it's tasty, it is their starters. So as soon as I walked in, they were quite energetic, they were like, oh, you have to try our starters. So I might pick through uh, one or two starters and I couldn't decide because they said another one of their kind of specialities is their beef dishes. So they go, if you can't decide, definitely zip forward and get a it's called a Zambezi mix, so I think I'm going to opt for one of them. So you get um, essentially donut chicken or beef, you get to choose two of them. That's a great starting point just there. Uh, you've got veg dishes, you've got seafood, you've got pizzas even. Uh, and then you've got your lamb dishes. So what I'm normally associating uh, African food is definitely not what I see here. So look, they've got like, they have got lamb chops on the menu, sea kebabs, chicken wings, chicken samosas. Very similar to Africana in Birmingham. There's your spiceometer. You've got plain, mild, medium and hot and it's called Namadidi so I might have to go for the Namadidi let's try out jungle paprika so the food has come and just look at the spectrum of meats here so we've got these beautiful beautiful uh, lamb chops uh, as starters and I believe there might be just about three pieces only in there let's see one Two, three, no, four, four pieces of uh, uh, the lamb chop. We've also got these uh, spicy wings that come in a portion of one, two, three, four, five, six. So six in a portion. And then if we move on to what I believe is the showstopper, this is the mixed meat. Zem busy mixed platter? I hope I'm saying that right. So uh, I asked them which out of the two, because if I just pan down here, you can essentially get two meat out of the three so you've got your donna chicken and beef strips uh, so I asked them which ones are the best sellers and they go definitely get the chicken and definitely get the beef strips and that also comes with a salad so it's time to feast and I cannot wait to try uh, let's start off with the starters we've got these uh, spicy wings they're more like little niblets than wings so I'm not too sure so I'm not too sure if they are wings they look more like nibblers to me but on the menu they have labeled them as uh, wings so we are going to go in for a taste test here we go yeah played it straight through so these wings they've been marinated but they haven't been glazed so it's um, slightly different to a lot of establishments that you know they perhaps give a 24 hour kind of um, overnight rub um, and then they glaze it just to you know really bump up and enhance that experience so for me it's really nice because I can I can actually taste the meat the chicken and I have the bite right there's a, a kind of established a first dominant flavor but for these this is just a very subtle throughout just the right amount of spice they've got the skin on so you guys know my views on skin on skin brings a lot of flavor the fat brings a lot of flavor through so uh, honestly these are good so 
I've always been a softie when it comes to spice. So these are good for me. These are good for me. They're not bland. I don't care whoever describes them. They're not bland. They've got that. They've got that. Okay, you know what they remind you of? And this is something every single one you can most definitely associate yourself with. When you get a mixed platter from a Turkish restaurant, you just get that kind of normal seasoning, don't you? This is that exact same seasoning. Got a huge amount of spice swing. Just, uh, just right amount. So, portion sizes, you can tell clearly that these are very small. They're just about that. But the price reflects that. £3.50, so for five decent sized pieces, you cannot go wrong. These are a good start. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the normal wing and we're going to hit that with that sauce they've given me. Oh god, that did not meant to happen. We're gonna go in for that taste now. Here we go. <laughs> That's like a little bit of a spicy ketchup. The chicken's cooked well. It's not as soft as I want it to be, but overall, it's a good start. So next, we're gonna move on to this bad boy. Look at that. This is the lamb chops. You get five in a portion, I believe. No, you get four in a portion, and they are priced at five pounds. So um, honestly, value for money, not too bad, but then you do have to take in consideration portion sizes. So here we go. They're good, they're good. They're good. You don't get that intense, intense meaty flavor you do with, say, other lamb chops where maybe they serve that curry house as a starter. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's not an overwhelming amount of spice. It's a very subtle spice. To be honest, my expectation was that I'm gonna be attacked with spice. It's quite nice as you can see those those charred grow marks just to, just to, they'll give it a nice little smoky flavor so I am super excited to try this because the aromas coming from this is unbelievable uh, one thing to note here is I didn't say that the sides I got was masala fries so I go to them I really want the kind of uh, jungle paprika experience they go you know what you're gonna have to get the, the masala fries so we're gonna grab a fork so we have got the chicken and the masala fries we're gonna go in for a taste test here we go Oh yeah. Now this is something I can definitely get behind. Another bout. Again, not an overwhelming amount of spice. I'm very surprised really. I thought that it would be really spicy, but the last thing you want is bland chips, bland chicken, bland beef. But no, it's seasoned well. To be honest, this is the kind of food that I really like in the sense of it's not overwhelmingly spicy, it's not underwhelmingly unseasoned. Does that make sense? So I think the seasoning wise, they've got it perfect. Again, I've always said, right, when you get your your meat right and then you put the chips in the bottom, the chips at the bottom kind of absorb all that flavor. And most definitely, this is the case with um, the whole masala fries, the beef on top. I've really enjoyed that one. Okay, boys and girls, now we're moving on to, I think I'm just gonna use my hands because I wanna feel the texture. So we got these little bad boys, look. We've got these little um, beef strips. They remind me a lot of when you get noodle boxes and they ask you for your protein they give you those thin strips of noodles don't they so that's what we've got here yeah they have that kind of a um, steak consistency so with steak it's very hit or miss because when you cook a steak at home essentially you get parts that cut through perfectly don't you that's amazing but then you also get that kind of hard tough parts too so <laughs> It's strange though. Some parts are soft, but there's some parts are more like chewy. Oh, with chips. So I think I, I think I've got it figured out now. So you want to grab your, want to grab your chip. You want to grab a, uh, a piece of chicken, and then what you want to also do is you want to grab a bit of uh, onion or something like that. I think with all this is a wholesome bite. Here we go. 
You need that texture that comes through with um, with the onion, with a bit of bite, a bit of crunch. And, uh, we've got the T-bone steak, the ribeye. Very popular. So the T-bone steak. So essentially, anywhere that has like a little star, yes, is uh, it's a bestseller. Yeah, they're customer favorites. Yes, customer yeah. favorites. So, so I'd say on the beef, we've got like you said, the T-bone, the ribeye. Oh, it's T-bone ribeye. Yeah. Very popular on the beef dishes. Yep. Uh, and on the chicken, we've got the half chicken. Where's that? There we are. The half chicken, chicken and chicken. Strips, which are very popular. Yeah, 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 I was mentioning it's very, uh, it's very uh, simple, not overwhelming with the spices and whatnot. Is it? Is that quite traditional in Malawi and Zim is it Zimbabwe? Uh, Kenya. Zimbabwe? Kenya, Kenya and, and, and Malawi. Malawi yeah. yeah. So your family's from there, right? Uh, yes. But yeah, amazing. It's, it's not a crazily uh, massive menu too. It's not massive, massive. So I think it covers. There's something for everyone. Someone too. exactly. Yeah. So from from. From uh, burgers to pizzas to the steaks for the people that like them. What shall we've got? We've got someone for it, something for everyone. Where's the burgers? Oh, there they are. The burgers, yeah, man. But yeah, fully appreciate it, man. Thank you exactly. so much, man. I really Thank you. And I'll Thank see you, you soon, inshallah. Exactly. Thank, Thank you. you. So, guys, we just finished off at Jungle Paprika. Jungle Paprika. Or Paprika Jungle. I'm not too sure. Overall views, if I could just summarize it like this, it was a decent meal. It wasn't quite overwhelming, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but it wasn't kind of down there, as in it was just standard cuisine. So lamb chops, decent. Not a huge swing of flavor. However, there was a few flavors that I could definitely associate with. For example, there's a, just a very, it had a Turkish vibe to it. The same seasonings you'd get on your meat platter at a Turkish establishment is kind of what I got from uh, what I got from uh, Paprika Jungle, Jungle Paprika, ah, Jungle Paprika, and that's the same feedback to the wings, or should I say niblets? Exactly the same. I was getting a lot of Turkish vibes rather than because I felt like I was gonna get a uh, seasoning slash flavoring explosion of that kind of African flavors, as their owner mentioned there. In a way, it was over promised under delivered in a way but all due respect to the owner he was fantastic really 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 nice guy honestly i like owners who are very open i think he really understood kind of um what i was doing and what kind of opportunities hopefully that would open up for um paprika jungle jungle paprika then again um, the mixed platter i had with beef strips and chicken was good again it didn't have the wow factor but it was good so be, i i would say go check it out for yourself i think it's good value for money oh def, let's speak about money very good value for money and i think moving forward so vamp up the place design it a little bit it was quite it was quite basic to be honest so uh yeah i think that was an interesting suggestion from you guys but nonetheless we've done the review the price i mentioned was decent interior design was a bit what's going on there it needs a lick of paint parking uh, so they are side roads and predominantly they're all a one hour stay but uh, i managed to find a side road two side roads from the establishment which had no parking restrictions wicked man and it was free and it was a one-way road so um if I would give you an overall scope of parking, I think it would be an issue. But there you are guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be always follow the Instagram page for all the kind of behind the scenes and whatnot because right now I am like recording um, a day in the life of a food blogger. So everyone, we are at spot number two out of many to come. We are at an establishment, as I mentioned, called Jungle Paprika. And are you ready for this? Look at this look at the wings and look at the chops i am in for a meat feast so i cannot wait to talk into this one be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video